Hey guys, Dr. Karan here. Today, I want to talk about a very important topic and something I come face to face with almost on a daily basis, colon cancer. And like a lot of people, I was shocked and saddened by the tragic news that Chadwick Boseman had passed away. He was in the peak of his career at only 43 years old when he passed away after his private four year battle with colon cancer. His courage and strength was evident in the fact that he continued to make films despite his health struggles countless surgeries and chemotherapy. And hopefully one part of his legacy will be to raise awareness about colon cancer, the signs, the symptoms, driving people to get early testing and preventing countless others succumbing to this awful affliction. In this video, I want to try and sum up the most important things you need to know about colon cancer and what exactly happened to Chadwick Boseman. There are two main parts to the bowel, the large bowel and the small bowel. Cancer can start anywhere, but it's most common in the large bowel. The large bowel itself has two sections, the colon and the rectum. The colon is 1.5 meters long and is made up of four parts. The ascending colon, the transverse colon, the descending colon, and the sigmoid colon. Cancer anywhere along here is referred to as colon cancer. The main jobs of the colon are to absorb water and nutrients and to leave behind waste which passes through to the rectum. The stool traverses the entire length of the colon, eventually making its way to the rectum. The rectum is the last part of the bowel. This is where stool is stored until it's passed out. And the treatment for those affected with rectal cancer is different to how colon cancer is treated. And although rarer, you can also get cancer of the small intestine, the small bowel. Food passes from the stomach into the small bowel, or six meters of it. This is where most digestion occurs, and there are three sections. The duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. The bowel wall is made up of several layers of body tissue. Cancers start in the innermost layer, the lining of the bowel. Small growths called polyps or adenomas can become a cancer without treatment. They can grow into the muscle layers and even breach through the bowel wall, invading other structures. Cancer of the bowel can spread. This is known as metastasis. In 2016, Chadwick Boseman was diagnosed with stage three colorectal cancer. This means the cancer had already breached through the bowel wall and had invaded nearby lymph nodes. Sometimes bowel cancer can affect nearby organs or even distant ones. This is what happened in Chadwick's case when his stage three cancer progressed to an advanced stage four cancer. The cancer can spread via the bloodstream and the lymphatics to other organs, such as the stomach and even the liver. The cancer can easily spread to the liver because the blood flows directly from the intestines to the liver. It's important to note that anyone can develop bowel cancer. Chadwick Boseman was just 43 years old in the peak of his career, but sadly we've seen an increase in the number of young people affected by bowel cancer. The youngest person I've operated on with colon cancer was 24 years old. And in the last couple of years alone, I can definitely remember dozens of cases where I've operated on people with bowel cancer in their 20s and 30s. Going back to Chadwick Boseman, obviously I'm not his personal doctor, so I don't have full specific details about his personal medical conditions, which may give an indication as to his risk of colon cancer. For example, we don't know his family history. Did he have a family history of bowel cancer? Or did he suffer from any personal bowel conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, all these things increase a person's risk of cancer. When trying to pick up the signs of cancer, there are several symptoms which patients commonly report. But it's also important to note that these symptoms are not always caused by cancer, they can be caused by other things as well. And in some cases, there are no symptoms at all of bowel cancer. The key thing here is knowing what's normal and what's not normal for you. For example, a change in bowel habit, stool that's looser, or you find yourself more constipated than usual for a period of four to six weeks or even longer. Bleeding from the back passage, the presence of blood in your stool, a lump found in your tummy or in your back passage, and even pain in your tummy or back passage. The symptoms I've described are pretty specific to bowel cancer, but in addition to those, there are also general symptoms of cancers, such as unintentional weight loss, this was evident in Chadwick's case. In the last year, due to progressive cancer, surgery, and chemotherapy, he carried a more emaciated frame. Fatigue, lower energy, reduced appetite levels. If you consistently have any of these symptoms, you should see your doctor. If bowel cancer is diagnosed early, 
treatment is more likely to be successful. In Chadwick's case, he had stage 4 cancer. And looking through the literature, we know that the 5-year survival rate for stage 4 cancer is 14%. This means at 5 years, only 14% are likely to be alive. So how do we pick up and prevent colon cancer? We have a range of invasive and non-invasive tests available. The gold standard involves a camera test, either a flexible sigmoidoscopy or a colonoscopy, to visualize the bowel and potentially remove any growths that are seen. In this procedure, a long, thin, flexible tube with a light source and camera attached is passed into the back passage to examine the lining of the bowel for any precancerous polyps or growths, or to explain the cause of any symptoms a patient may have experienced. And during the procedure, if there are any growths that are identified which appear cancerous, they can usually be removed during the procedure using various instruments. Non-invasive tests include fecal blood testing as well as virtual colonoscopies, also known as CT colonoscopies as seen here. Non-invasive tests are very good, but sometimes they don't pick up very small polyps and you can't remove any polyps if you see some. So yes, we can detect cancer early, we can even provide early treatment, but how can we decrease the risk of even getting cancer in the first place? Well, it's healthy habits. For example, not smoking and maintaining a healthy weight. We know that smoking and obesity are contributors to an increased colon cancer risk. And from a dietary perspective, making sure there's a good intake of fiber, plenty of fruits, plenty of vegetables, as we know that a good fiber intake is associated with a lower incidence and risk of colorectal cancer. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of bowel cancer. My thoughts are with the Bozeman family and his nearest and dearest. If you have any questions about bowel cancer or anything else for that matter, make sure you comment below. I'd like to leave you with my favourite quote from Black Panther, which feels particularly apt at this moment in time. Rest assured that Chadwick Boseman's legacy will live on in many ways. In my culture, death is not the end. Baba, only another one. It's my way, stepping off point. I never yielded! As you can see!